Hi there and welcome to this brand new SketchUp rendering tutorial using the rendering program iRender Next. So today I'm going to teach you everything about the feature auto reflection using iRender Next which is the rendering program I use for rendering all my models in SketchUp. So I've set up this simple model to explain you uh, what auto reflection, what the future uh, is like and what you can do with it and why it's so useful because it really is. So auto reflection makes materials reflective by using a matching word pattern method in the material name. So uh, let's say we've got this concrete over here. As you can see, if I place it over here behind the plant, I'll explain you later on why I've added the plant in front of it. You'll see that we've got the description of the material over here and we've got the name as well, blacktop old number one. But um, yeah, what the idea is, of auto reflection is that a material has a name as you can see over here this is blacktop etc and um, if you set up auto reflection which i'll show you later on how you can do that you can uh, put in names of materials so for instance uh, metal or wood or gold or wall or whatever you can put that in the uh, auto reflection uh, wizard and in that way um, you can make sure that whenever a material has the name of um, a certain material or like for instance here we've got black uh, top old but let's call this metal uh, number one yeah we've put a material an actual material in a material name right now and then if we will open up the auto reflection wizard in a moment you'll see that you can choose the characteristics of every metal or every material that has the name metal in its name um, that you can choose the same characteristics for all of them and in that way um, they can be uh, they will always be as reflective as you've set them so for instance here we've opened uh, the wizard as you can see and then you click on styles over here and then you tick use auto reflection and you click on setup auto reflection and in that way you get into this wizard and as you can see here we've got uh, metal and uh, metal is of course kind of reflective uh, not the most reflective material out there but it's still pretty reflective and over here you can choose the the amount of reflection from zero to one you can uh, choose the amount of um, sharpness from zero to one and also the IOR which is not really relevant it's one for all of them as you can see and uh, you can also choose whether you want to have metallic or bump um, which is not incredibly important if you're uh, not going to add any materials to this so if you make sure that you have uh, or you use auto reflection so you've ticked it on over here then you'll see that um, we've got all these materials in here and from now on if you've you, if you use this feature every material which has the name metal in its name and you add it to your model if you render it it will it will have these characteristics so 0.8 uh, reflection 0 0.95 uh, sharpness and etc etc um, and the same um, happens for gold so now let's go for another material um, let's say this time I'm going to add roofing you know it doesn't really matter what you add as long as uh, you change the name into uh, the amount of reflection it should give so let's say this is gold so I put gold in the um, in the name of it now gold number four for instance and then um, from now on if we will render it you'll see that gold will have the reflection zero, uh, 1.00 sharpness 0 0.95 and um, the other features will match the characteristics of gold as well so if we render it not right now as you can see both of them are reflective and um, you've not had to set the reflection separately for um, every material but because the name has gold or metal in it it will have the characteristics you've set for them this means that the material the initial material which you've added so in this case concrete and roofing they don't even actually have to be metal or gold but as long as you can add the name metal or gold in their name which is part of their characteristics then they will be noticed or um, yeah, recognized by the program I render next as metal or as gold and in that way they'll have the characteristics the reflective characteristics 
of metal and gold and that's also the reason why I've just added these plants in front of it by the way I would still explain it so here I am um, I've added them simply so that you can see their reflection in the material so now of course it can also happen that a material has several names so for instance or several materials in its name so for instance three different materials in uh, the name definition so for instance uh, the name of a material is um, plastic uh, tile metal then you change the name into um, that name so plastic tile metal and then if you open the other reflection wizard you'll see that plastic comes up first then you've got tile and then you've got metal and therefore um, the auto reflection um, yeah, tool or feature in Iran and Next will make sure that um, yeah, the material you've added will follow the characteristics of plastic because that's highest in the list of the material patterns. And you can also change um, the place where they are located, uh, the several materials by using these arrows over here. As you can see right now, I'm changing plastic from the top position to the lower position and that makes that the name tau in the um, name that we've come up with which was plastic tau metal tau is now um, the name which comes up first in the list and therefore this material will follow the characteristics the reflection characteristics of tau so i think it should be clear it's very easy you should just play around with it a little bit but as you can uh, as you just saw uh, it does work and it's very useful because in this way you don't have to set characteristics for materials individually but by just changing the name or making sure that the name has got the material in it which uh, reflection characteristics you want it to follow in that way uh, it, you, it should just work out perfectly fine and that should save you a lot of time and will in the end also make your renders look much better so i hope you found this tutorial useful um, i made it using irender next which is the rendering program i use for sketchup and then um, yeah i hope you found the tutorial useful like i said and then i also hope to see you back in another video bye bye